Show me your hand. I see our past. Your palm roughened by heat, by frost. By pulling a crop out of the earth. By lifting a cauldron off the hearth. By stripping rushes dipped in fat to make a wick make a rush light. That was your world. Your entry to our ancestry in our darkest century. Ghost sufferer, our ghost sister. Remind us now again that history changes in one moment with one mind. That it belongs to us, to all of us. As we mark these hundred years, we will not leave you behind. No one is left behind, or should be, as we honor this centenary. A hundred years ago, a woman's vote becoming law, the right of Irish women. We remember them as we celebrate this freedom. Freedom is not abstract, is not a concept, is not an ethic only, nor a precept. It can also be a hope raised, then defeated, then renewed. It can be a voice braided into the silences of other women who came before. Today we note the achievement of Irish suffragists as we mark the act, the law, the vote. We honor also the hours of doubt, the years of work, Today we offer to these women our thanks. Here we say some of their names, to honor all of their names. Imagine these women gathering one by one in Irish cities late in 1918 in a cold winter. Each of them ready to enter history called to their duties as citizens to exercise this hard-won right, this franchise. They vote in the shadow of their past. They vote in the light of what will be their new nation, whose quest for freedom speaks to their own. If we could only summon or see them, these women, foremothers of the nurture and dignity that will come to all of us from this day, we could say across the century to each one, give me your hand. It has written our future. Our future will become the past of other women. Our island that was once settled and removed on the edge of Europe is now a bridge to the world. And so we share this day with women everywhere for those who find the rights they need to be hard won, not guaranteed, not easily given, for each one we have a gift, a talisman. The memory of these Irish women who struggled and prevailed, for whose sake we choose these things from their date to honor, to remember, and to celebrate. All those who called for it, the vote for women, all those who had the faith that voices can be raised, can be heard. All those who saw their hopes become the law. All those who woke in a new state flowering from an old nation and found justice no longer blind. Inequity set aside and freedom redefined.